And I'm feeling really weird and cranky, and I'm about to TMI you right now. But, like, we usually have got this like, great understanding and good communication and a really good, like, sexual relationship. You and your boyfriend. Right now. Yeah. But, like, even, like, this morning having this talk, like, I'm like, you have to do this one thing to make sure I can, like, get off. And he still, like, failed it just this one time right now. And I feel like maybe this is what blue balls feel like, except in emotional sense. What was the one thing? I, he just has to let me, like, be in control for a second. Yeah. For, like, one second. On top? Yeah. And I'm like, and then I'll be able to get off, and then you can go ahead and do your own thing. Right. And, like, after telling him this morning, and, like, you know, and it's fine. But just now, just now, this one time, I'm, like, so fucking close. He ruins it. And, like, I just feel like crying. And it's so stupid, to, like, to cry over. But it's, like, just, like, struggling with that, like, so close of release. I just feel so tense right now. Well, that's also, like, maybe that situation is, it's not, like, exactly just that that's making you emotional. It's, that, like, what that represents. Right? Like, why aren't you, why aren't you listening to me? Also, yeah. in being able to go ahead and get off when you know I just said I didn't get off. Why aren't you stopping and making sure I get off? Right, yeah. Yeah, I feel like... Because you're going to get off as a guy, like, no most matter likely, what. no exactly. matter what. <laughs> yeah. So we left on fine terms, but I just feel like... Feel nauseous and sad. <laughs> you guys gonna break up? No, no, no. Oh, really? Oh, we broke up a billion times. Oh, okay. Oh no, we're fine. <laughs> we're totally fine. I just am like. Meh. You have blue balls. Yeah, I just have blue balls. That's funny. <laughs> I'm just bummed, and exactly that what it represents. Like, are you kidding me? You couldn't just do the one thing. Right. And it's sort of selfish, right? Totally selfish. And, and then as soon as he was done, he like got up and went on the computer, and I'm like sulking and pouting, but he's just dumb. Yeah, he's like jamming me from behind this morning which was fine but the, and it, it was like painful and the moment he just like grabbed my boob I'm like okay into it all of a sudden right it just takes like some, some sort oh of oh like, my god effort. I forgot to turn the meter off or on oh that's okay I know how much it is okay cool yeah it's you I it's usually like all nine good. or ten something whatever you want you're the you're the boss yeah I got it I take this route a lot sorry about that no it's my fault I'm my job is to turn the meter on you know right Oh, we gosh, just started, thanks for letting me be so frank. <laughs> yeah, we just started chatting. You know, <laughs> the funny thing is that you got into a special cab. This is actually the love drive. Oh, really? Yeah, I, like, recorded a documentary about sex and love. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's a camera right there. Yeah, I know, it's on Stop also. It. I know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to give you the business card just so you can okay. check it out at some point. But, um... <laughs> My boyfriend will kill me if I tell him that. <laughs> Hey, Sean from The Love Drive. Subscribe to my channel. Also submit a question or a comment down below. Thanks for watching.